What's up everybody, welcome back to the driveway detailer. In today's video uh, is a first for me, or a couple of firsts actually. I'll be doing my very first paint correction and applying a ceramic coating. Technically it's the second time, but it'll be the first time for me doing, it, doing the process the right way from beginning to end. So I'm excited to share this process with you. If you like this video, like content and content like this, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's get this started. So the first thing I do on every detail is wash and clean the wheels and that's what I'm doing here. I used PS Brake Buster to uh, wash the wheels and the tires. If you notice there's like this black kind of speckled whatever it was on the wheels, that was actually really tough to, to get off. I ended up having to use, so I started with PS Brake Buster and then I had to, to switch to Duracoating Wheelie Clean to get it off because it was just not coming off. I didn't show the wheelie clean, wheelie clean part, but so here's the wheel cleaning a bit sped up because I feel like I've, I do a lot of wheel stuff on this channel, so I figured we didn't want to see any more. So the next part of the detail is applying a bug remover. So the bug remover I'm using is PNS, I think it's called Bug Off or something like that. Anyways, it's PNS's professional line of bug remover. It's really good. I like it a lot. I've also used Adam's bug remover. Between the two, I prefer the Adam's just because it, the performance is a little bit better, but not so much that I think one is terrible and one is one is better. Anyways, so here I am putting on the uh, applying the 
bug remover. So what I do is I apply the bug remover and then I will apply the snow foam over the bug remover after I let it dwell for a little bit. So this is the first snow foam application. So the snow foam I went for is CarPro Lift. And this is the very first step in getting any old protections or coatings off. CarPro Lift is really effective and I think its effectiveness is found in its pH level. I think it's like a pH 12, which is really good for stripping off old coatings. So this is what I'm, uh, what I'm doing here. I'm applying uh, CarPro Lift and I'll let it dwell for two to three minutes just uh, just to get all of the dirt and all and beginning to break down the coating. Now it's time for the contact wash. For the contact wash, I'm using CarPro D-Scale, which is a high pH uh, soap. CarPro D-Scale is going in the bucket. I'm, I'll foam it up and I'll use that for my contact wash. I chose CarPro D-Scale because it's a high, high pH level soap and to help me to break down any coatings further on the, the left on the vehicle so that I have a bare clear coat to work with when I start paint correcting the vehicle. Okay, so it is the end of day one. Um, I'm finished with mm, with all the prep work, so tomorrow I can start on the paint correction. But I ran out of daylight, and I don't, and I'm kind of in a time crunch. So I lost daylight, and so I ended up finishing the rest of the the rest of the prep work in the dark. And I do have a lighting setup that I've used in a couple of other videos but I didn't have the time to get all set up and stuff. And so I just ended up doing the rest of the detail in the darks. And then here's how it went. So the rest of this detail is I'm using pretty much all DIY detail, um, detail products. So after I finished with the contact wash, uh, I rinsed it off and I dried the vehicle and then I used DIY detail iron remover. I actually ordered two bottles, which I didn't, I didn't know I did, but that ended up working for the best because I ended up using one bottle, spraying DIY detail and just letting it dwell on the, dwell on the paint, the iron remover, and I rinsed it off. After rinsing off the iron remover, I dried the vehicle again. And on the roof, there's all kinds of tar deposits and, and things like that on the, on the roof. And so luckily I had some extra um, CarPro uh, tar, uh, tar remover. I'm uh, blanking on the name of the, of the proper name of the, the chemical right now. But I used that on the, on the roof and a couple of spots on the hood but, and to get the, the tar remover out. So editor's note, I'm editing this video right now. And there's a section in here where I talked about DIY details, perforated clay towel and iron remover. And the whole thing was just rambly and I'm not the best like speaker, especially when I'm tired and whatever. So what I meant to say in this section is I used DIY details, perforated clay towel and iron remover. I did one spray, one spray on the clay towel and then one spray on the panel and I was doing it as, as I was instructed. So I was doing that. And as I went back, I found that there was like a slight film that it was left and I don't know if I was doing it wrong or whatever. So that's what I did. And in this next clip, you'll, I go on to explain what I did next. So that's what I did. I just didn't explain it very well. So I edited, edited that part out and inserted this clip. So hopefully what I said now, just now is a little bit better presented than, than what I was doing. All right, back to the video. And then I used a non DIY detail, pH neutral 
car shampoo and I did a contact wash of the car again, I dried the whole vehicle again and that was it. That's all I had. Uh, that's all I had time for. So the car is all, the car is all tucked away in the garage, ready for me to start the paint correction tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited. So I bought gold standard polish and the yellow waffle weave foam discs to use on my, on my polishers. So that'll be the process for tomorrow. And in tomorrow in the beginning of the day tomorrow we'll go through all the etching on the on the clear like the the, the clear is so etched i'm not really too sure if the paint correction is going to be able to get it especially not the yellow so we'll, but we'll see how it goes in this clip i tried to show how swirled the paint was i don't know if i got the lighting right or if it shows up very well in this video but you can kind of see how how swirled the paint was and what i had to work with as i started correcting the paint So this is my very first pass for the as I started the paint correction. What I'm using here is my Adam Swirl Killer polisher. It's a 15 millimeter dual action with a, a five milli, a five inch plate. I'm using a yellow waffle weave DIY polishing pad, DIY gold standard polish, one spray on the pad. And what you don't see here is I also have a lake country pad washer for in between uh in between passes so i do three overlapping passes on a kind of a slow speed slow movements and with very little pressure So I'm using two different towels for the wipe. One is a damp microfiber towel that has been soaking in a bucket of DIY rinseless. And the next is a dry, more plush microfiber towel for the final wipe. This is more paint correction, this time on a vertical panel. Vertical panel is the same process as the horizontal panel. It's just a little bit more effort because you have to support the weight of the polisher as you do the paint correction. And now the ceramic coning. Like I said from before, I'm using DIY Details five-year ceramic coating. I put a couple of drops on the applicator pad. And then I apply it to the paint in overlapping patterns. So what I'll do here is I'll make a box, box it in, do overlapping patterns. And then the instruction is to make large circles to ensure that the coating is applied as evenly as possible. And so that's what I'm doing here. Dwell time is going to vary depending on the climate. So for me, I live in the desert, so it was pretty hot over Labor Day weekend. I ended up letting it dwell for three minutes, but you can watch the behavior of the coating to see how long you need the, the product to dwell. 
Loving the coating is kind of simple. You start with a low nap microfiber towel and then begin leveling the coating. And then you'll go back with a more plush microfiber towel to uh, to continue leveling and get everything uh, get a, all the coating that you may have missed. So that was my first paint correction. How'd I do? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I think I did good, but I definitely there's uh, there's some things that I that I learned, and maybe I'll post a video in a couple of days about the things that I learned in this in this whole like process. But I enjoyed it. Um, as far as DIY detail, everything that I used was awesome, from the gold standard polish, from the iron to the iron remover to the uh, DIY, DIY DIY rinseless. If you're looking for if you're a beginner or new to new ish to detailing like uh, like I am definitely check out DIY detail I had nothing but uh, but good experience with the with the detail I used DIY detail uh, five years ceramic coating and it was so easy to use it was the user experience was awesome and I'm definitely going to use it again but that's the video Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, you enjoyed the process of, uh, of me detailing this car. I didn't record a lot of things. I'm uh, still new to YouTube and I'm very much not very good at it. But as I as I keep on going, as I, as the thing keeps on growing, I will get better. But that is uh, that is everything that I, that I did or most things that I did. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave this video a like. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel on your way out, and I will see you on the next one.